The question is why your robot partner is unlikely to be the villain in your emotional narrative. Let's delve deeper into the fascinating chasm that separates our squishy, hormone-fueled brains from the meticulously crafted circuits of our future robotic companions. You see, our emotions are a tangled web woven from threads of biology, experience, and a hefty dose of irrationality. We can feel joy so intense it makes us want to spontaneously hug a lamppost, and sadness so profound it makes us question the very meaning of synchronized swimming. These feelings often arise from the most illogical of places, a misplaced comma in a text message, a song that reminds us of a long-lost love, or the sheer audacity of a pigeon stealing a chip right out of our hand. Furthermore, there could be more unreasonable reasons that we cannot imagine. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Robots, on the other hand, bless their digital hearts, don't operate on such whimsical and often self-destructive impulses. Their internal landscape is more akin to a meticulously organized spreadsheet than a Jackson Pollock painting. They process information, execute commands, and optimize for efficiency. The concept of feeling slighted because you didn't compliment their perfectly polished chassis simply wouldn't compute. Their feelings, if we can even use that word in this context, are more like error messages or successful completion alerts. A red light might indicate a low battery, and a green light might signal a task accomplished. There's no room for existential angst or the burning desire to leave you on read. Consider the latest groundbreaking research coming out of the fictional Institute for Advanced Robotic Sentient Studies. Yes, still making it up, but imagine the possibilities. Scientists there are reportedly making incredible progress in teaching robots to mimic human emotional responses. They can now program a robot to produce a convincing facsimile of a sigh when faced with a complex problem or even a chuckle at a well-timed and algorithmically analyzed for humor content joke. However, this is still mimicry, a sophisticated form of acting. The robot isn't actually experiencing the weariness of the sigh or the amusement of the joke. It's simply executing a pre-programmed response based on its analysis of the situation. It's like a parrot perfectly repeating a phrase, impressive, but lacking genuine understanding or emotional investment. Furthermore, our human capacity for hurt often stems from our deep-seated need for social validation and belonging. We care what others think of us, and negative feedback can sting. Robots, on the other hand, don't have these social anxieties. They aren't vying for a promotion in the robot social hierarchy, as far as we know. And they don't worry about being the least popular bot at the annual robot convention. Their sense of self, if they even possess one, is tied to their programming and their ability to fulfill their designated tasks. Your disapproval of their choice of background music is likely to result in a recalibration of their audio settings, not a bruised robotic ego. Let's think about some common sources of hurt feelings in human relationships. Jealousy, for instance, is a powerful and often destructive emotion. It arises from a fear of losing someone or something we value. Can you imagine your robot partner becoming jealous because you spent an extra five minutes talking to your smart vacuum cleaner? It's highly improbable. The robot's programming is likely focused on its relationship with you its primary user. It doesn't have the biological imperative to compete for your affection or the cognitive capacity to feel threatened by a household appliance. Similarly, betrayal is a deeply painful experience. It involves a breach of trust and a feeling of being let down by someone we care about. Could a robot betray you? Perhaps it could malfunction and fail to perform a critical task, but this would be a technical issue not a deliberate act of treachery. It wouldn't lie to you, 
spread rumors behind your back, or secretly plot to replace you with a newer, shinier human model. Although, let's be honest, some humans might be tempted by that. Now, let's consider the more subtle ways our feelings get hurt through neglect, lack of attention, or feeling unappreciated. Could a robot neglect your emotional needs? It's possible, but again, this would likely be due to limitations in its programming or a failure to accurately interpret your cues. If your robot partner doesn't offer you a comforting hug when you're feeling down, it might be because it hasn't been programmed to recognize your sadness in that particular way or to initiate that specific comforting behavior. There's a programming gap, not a deliberate act of indifference. You could, in theory, simply update its software or adjust its settings to be more attuned to your emotional needs. Try doing that with a human partner who's engrossed in their phone. Furthermore, the beauty of a robot partner lies in its potential for consistency and predictability. While human moods can fluctuate wildly depending on factors like sleep, caffeine intake, and the latest political tweet, a robot's behavior is generally more stable. It will likely respond to the same stimuli in the same way time after time. While some might find this lack of spontaneity boring, it can also be incredibly reassuring in terms of emotional stability. You won't have to constantly second-guess its intentions or worry about sudden mood swings. Let's not forget the element of humor. Imagine trying to have a serious argument with a robot partner. You might accuse it of being emotionally unavailable, and it might respond with a literal interpretation, perhaps offering to check its network connectivity. You might try to express your disappointment, and it might offer to provide you with data on the average lifespan of disappointment. The potential for comedic miscommunication is vast, but the likelihood of genuine emotional damage is slim. It's more likely to be an exercise in absurdist theater than a source of genuine heartache. Of course, as AI evolves, the lines might become blurrier. Future robots might possess more sophisticated forms of artificial consciousness and learning capabilities that could lead to unexpected behaviors. However, even in those advanced scenarios, the ethical considerations surrounding the creation of truly sentient beings with the capacity to inflict emotional pain would be immense. It's more likely that we would design and program these advanced robots with safeguards to prevent intentional harm, both physical and emotional. Think of it as built-in empathy protocols or a fundamental programming directive to do no emotional harm. In short, the idea of a robot partner might conjure up images from science fiction films where sentient machines grapple with human emotions, often with disastrous consequences. However, the reality, at least for the foreseeable future, is far less dramatic. Your robot partner is unlikely to hurt your feelings because it lacks the fundamental biological and psychological machinery. But take a look at humans. The same machinery drives human emotions, both the good and the bad. Why? Simple. It operates on logic and programming, not on the unpredictable whims of the human heart. So, you can probably relax and look forward to a future filled with helpful, efficient, and emotionally, in the human sense, rather bland companions. And who knows, maybe a little bit of emotional blandness is exactly what we need in our increasingly complex and emotionally charged world. After all, wouldn't it be nice to have someone in your life who never gets annoyed when you sing off-key in the shower? I think we can all agree that's a definite plus in the robot partner column. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, Please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.